If you love unspoiled nature, if you want to get away from the crowds, if you'd like to experience local cultures up close and personal, if you want to get a, uh, see how things really are, then, uh, then come join us. Uh, I think you will, you too, no, not that I think, I know, you too will really enjoy it. But just ask our customers. What was quite interesting because uh, before the trip, I remember, I, I didn't think we'll need the devices, but then the children said, oh, can we pack this and that and all that? And I, I did, I packed, you know, the mm -hmm. computer or the iPad, and I put it into a, a small luggage, um, and it never came out from the beginning to the end of the trip. Mm -hmm. No one asked for it, and never mm -hmm. came out. So they were so occupied every single minute. I mean, they were happy just, you know, like exploring or, uh, looking at things, no one asked for anything. I was so happy. Because I always feel that the first time to travel, I think I'm going to have a little bit of a doubt, a little bit of a memory. In fact, it's also the same thing, and then eat well, eat well. I really like it. Actually, when you go on a trip, when you go on a trip, if you go on a train, 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 那会真的会有亲身体验的感觉，所以我觉得这个自驾的行程哈，对一个人，我是觉得到中国的西北哈，我觉得这种自驾的开吉普车行程真的是一个很特别、很特别的行程。所以我只要听到说吉普车行程，我就整个人就兴奋起来。Well, the test is whether they come back again. So we've been back twice. So <laughs> I think it's a general expectation. We expected a reasonable standard. It was just above and beyond. Otherwise, I wouldn't have come back twice. Right? <laughs> Adventure of a lifetime for me. And would you come back? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Yes. That, that definitely. <laughs> Tibet. Tibet. That's right. Tibet. <laughs>